Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a very exciting video that's been very highly requested. I am doing a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics. Now there's a lot here that I have tried and then, there, and then there's a lot that I haven't. I think honestly e.l.f. is like one of the best drugstore brands at the drugstore and they're really inexpensive. They're cheaper than you know Maybelline, L'Oreal and all them. By the way, I will be at BeautyCon LA the 12th and 13th. I think those are the dates. I don't know if I'm gonna be there both days, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be chilling at BeautyCon. Um, I'll be walking around. If you wanna say hi, come say hi. I'll be walking around. We can take pictures, chat, whatever. Um, and I hope to see you there. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you a part of this little family we have going on here on YouTube. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. You know, while you're down there, might as well. Take a second, you know, give me your thumbs. And comment down below, tell me what your favorite thing from e.l.f. is, what is your least favorite thing from e.l.f. Give me some more suggestions. If there's anything I don't talk about in today's video that you think I should try out, let me know in the comments. Or just, you know, say hi in the comments, you know. Just say something there. Okay, so the only thing I have done right now is my eyebrows, and I actually did use something from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Brow Kit in Medium. I did put this on my brows already. I hate doing my brows on camera. I prefer doing them off camera just because they take so long to do. But I actually really do like this product. It's really nice. I like this because my brows look pretty natch today. Um, doesn't look like block brows, which is my usual go-to, unfortunately. Uh, I actually really like my brows today. So yeah, I do like this brow kit. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm like an idiot and I totally forgot to pick up like a primer primer. I really wanted the pore filling primer that they sell. I purchased a lot of e.l.f. stuff on Amazon and I was like, no, I already bought it. I swear I already bought it. And Kevin, my boyfriend, was like, I don't I don't think he I don't think he bought it, Thomas. I'm like, no, I bought it. I bought it. It's fine. I won't pick it up. I already bought it. It's at my house right now. Lo and behold, I didn't I didn't buy it. So what I did buy is this new e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Primer Mist. I think this is new. I think it's like a new like limited edition line that they're doing. Aqua Beauty. I don't I don't know, but it is a primer mist. So it comes in this very sleek bottle. I love Elf's packaging. It looks really nice. Oh, that squirted out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this spray is really aggressive. My face does feel primed. It feels pretty sticky. For foundation a day, I got the Elf Oil Free SPF 15 Flawless Finish Foundation in Natural. It comes in this very sleek bottle packaging. I really like the packaging on this. I'm going to do a few pumps on the back of my hand. My first impression on this foundation so far is that it's very lightweight and the coverage is really, really nice. It's not matte. I would say it's like a natural satin finish. Um, coverage about medium. It is buildable. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, next for concealer, I have the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer Concealer in Light. I think this might be a little bit too dark, but we're going to see. This is their lightest shade that I saw at Walgreens. They didn't have anything lighter. Uh, so this might be a flop. This might be too dark for my under eyes, but we shall see. You never know. So this is what it looks like right here. Oh, yeah, this is actually way darker. <sighs> this concealer is actually way darker. Well, I'm just gonna spot conceal. They didn't. I didn't see a lighter concealer at Walgreens or online. Maybe I just missed it. So I can't use it today, but I will use another drugstore concealer from Went Wild, my favorite one currently. If you saw my favorites video, you would know. You would know. Um, I'll put it in the eye right here. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. So I'm quickly just gonna take this HD setting powder from e.l.f. It looks like this, and I'm going to set my under eye concealer. This powder might flash back. It is really finely milled, um, and it is really blurring out my skin, in my opinion. It's an all right powder. I'm not really like, wowed by it to be honest now that i have my face all set i'm going to go into the elf contour palette now you guys know i absolutely freaking love this contour palette it comes with all the shades you need if you guys saw my first drugstore makeup tutorial you saw me use this and fall in love i also featured this in a favorites video 
I really love this stuff. It travels with me everywhere. It's just really, it's a really nice contour palette. Trust me, if you were to get anything from this video, get this contour palette. It is the bees knees next up i got this bronzer from elf it's literally just a bronzer i got this on amazon it's cool toned i think it's like the pa elf's packaging is honestly so nice i love it so much so this is the bronzer it's very interesting i guess you mix all these shades together um to hmm. whirl into this and a bronze the face. Ooh, that's pigmented. Honestly, I think you can use this as a contour. I've heard a lot of good things about this e.l.f. blush palette. I got the light one. I'm really excited. I've heard really good things. It comes, it comes in the same packaging as the contour kit, and it comes with all of these shades it comes with all of these shades i think i'm gonna mix these two right here these two right here Ooh, that's pretty okay so this is really pigmented a little does go a long way this is really pretty to be honest you guys i'm like really shook elf uh sis your shit is really good. I'm kind of shook. Good job. Okay, so I don't really have a highlighter. I was gonna get that highlighting kit thing that they have. It's like their, their it's their glow kit type of thing. But I was looking at it in the store and it's really not that like blinding. So, but I did pick up this Prism eyeshadow on Amazon. It has a bunch of foiled shadows, or like shimmer shadows, and I think I'm gonna use the lightest shade to highlight. This is the Prism Eyeshadow Palette, and I think I'm gonna mix these two right here to highlight my face. This one and this one I'm gonna use to highlight my face. Ooh. Oh yeah, these as highlighters are really nice. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I will be pulling this out again just for my eyes, but I didn't have a highlighter, so we improvise, we improvise, we improvise. All right, so I'm just going to spray my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set just to like have all this makeup lock in and you know melt into the skin. Um, I'm really excited to try this, so let's, let's go. Ooh. This feels really, really nice. So this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set is really nice. I like it a lot. Hmm. Cool. Before we get into the eyes, I just want to give you guys like a quick little roundup of how I'm liking my face. So far, this foundation looks absolutely stunning on my skin. My skin looks very blurred. My pores look blurred. It doesn't look cakey. It almost looks like I'm using one of my favorite foundations from like Makeup Forever or something. The contour, of course, I like. The bronzer, I'm not really here nor there for the bronzer, but... As far as the foundation, the contour, the blush, and the highlight, I'm really liking how my skin looks. The eyebrows look amazing, and I'm really, really pleased on how it's turned out. Moving on to eyes, I already have this Mad for Matte palette from e.l.f. I used this in my drugstore video a long time ago. I'll have it in this little eye over here on the screen if you guys want to check it out. And you guys know I absolutely loved this palette. It's really, really nice. And I'll be using, of course, this e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette. I got this on Amazon. I also saw this at Walgreens. It's part of that Aqua Beauty collection from e.l.f. They have like molten liquid eyeshadows and they have rose gold and liquid gold. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna first go into the Matte for Matte palette. This isn't really gonna be that much of a tutorial. I'm just gonna test it out and see how I like it. I hope you guys don't mind. I am first gonna go into this shade right here though, this one right here. These shadows just blend themselves. I really, really love them. So next I'm gonna go into this kind of ashy shade right here and deepen up the crease. These blend like an absolute dream. I love these shadows so much. They're so good for the drugstore. Next, I'm gonna take the Prism eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go in with this like 
pinky, pinky purple shade right here, and I'm gonna pack it in the center of the lid. Not really wowed by the Prism eyeshadow on the lid as a highlighter. These are bomb, but on the lid, just, they're just really, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, this might just give me what I need. I really like these um, liquid eyeshadows from e.l.f. They're really pretty. It made it a little bit more intense, the kind of blinding look that I was going for. Next up, I'm going to try the e.l.f. liquid liner. I heard a lot of good things about this. Or I could try the intense ink eyeliner from e.l.f. I think I might go in with this because liquid eyeliner kind of scares me. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna try the Intense Ink Eyeliner in Black is Black from e.l.f. Just give me a little bit of a wing. I'm kind of feeling a wing after all that mess with that Prism eyeshadow. The chunkiness of this kind of makes it a little bit hard to control and get a precise application. And it, did it already dry out? Oh my God. So I don't know how I feel. Just a little bit too chunky for me. And it was like, it dried out in certain spots. It was really weird. Let me just try to go in with this liquid liner actually from e.l.f. Let's just see. I heard a lot of good things, you guys. I heard a lot of good things about this liquid liner. So maybe it's, maybe it's better. I don't know. This liquid liner is actually really, really nice. It was not a hassle to work with, and I really hate working with liquid liners. Huh, cool. Next up is lips, and of course I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. liquid lipsticks, the new ones. There's five new shades. They all cost $5 each. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I just know I don't wanna go into a berry tone. I really hate berry tones on my lips. I just don't like them. Um, do I want a... Uh... I think I want this one. Yep, I want this one. This one is T-Rose. Again, I haven't tried this shade out yet. I don't know how it how it looks on the lips. This is such a pretty color. This is such a pretty color. This, I will say, like I said in my other video when I tried out these liquid lipsticks, is that they do settle in the fine lines just a little bit, but they are very thin and very comfortable to wear, so you don't have to worry about like that. But as far like if you have very wrinkly lips, then it might be a problem for you. But for me, I don't mind it. I think the liquid lipsticks look great. The shade applied beautifully just like the other ones, and yeah. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys are enjoying these type of full face of videos, I really do enjoy making them. Again, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you love from e.l.f. that I didn't try in today's video, or just tell me what you do like from, from e.l.f. Just, just let me know. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.